It was the first ballet I ever danced in in my entire life. Really? Yes. The Nutcracker? The Nutcracker. I was a snowflake. Yes, I was. You, but you've got to like do a repeat appearance for us. You know, on the show. one day. One day it will happen. I went into retirement, though. Dancing. There, you know, this is probably the sights and the sounds of the season, right? Stanton Welch's new production of The Nutcracker promises everything you love about this famed ballet and oh, yeah. more. Well, this year, the Houston Ballet will be performing The Nutcracker on the road. Houston Life reporter Steph Gonzalez sat down with artistic director Stanton Welch. This is your version of the Nutcracker. Sure. So, I mean, again, I'm just so happy to be chatting with you. So, talk to us a little bit about the inspiration and how this came about. Well, I, I've been watching Nutcracker for a long time, of course. So, I had, uh, as a dancer, um, would sit there and, and think, okay, what would I like to do myself? And, and then knowing that we were going to build it into the Wortham Theatre and make something unique for Houston that no one else in the world had. So, it had to be special. But I also wanted to really follow that that true story. Um, I think in this version, Clara has a very magical time and she her role is, is increased and quite large. Um, and I, all those different diverts, I hope there's also an educational tool to it um, that the kids get to follow and learn about each of these different countries. Uh, so it was all that kind of planning. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Disney and uh, also a big fan of all those, uh, the cartoon films, um, Pixar films. So I think that's really sort of set a, a bar for what we expect from children's entertainment. The Wortham Theatre is our home and it's a wonderful theatre, a world-class theatre, but it, it has been severely damaged and I think think we're going to be out of it for an extended period of time. So, uh, you know, this is like a big ocean liner. It takes a lot of turning power to, to change uh, what we have planned. But we did in three weeks uh, move into the Hobby Centre and did our first two reps, which we're very proud of. And then uh, we're going to be doing Nutcracker out in uh, Sugarland and, of course, then at the Hobby Centre. Um, so it's a great, it's a great uh, story of rebuilding and uh, getting up, dusting yourself off and, and uh, going out and exploring Houston. <laughs> a lot of people probably think, oh, you just get the dancers, you get the costumes, and you just, you know, perform elsewhere, and it's not that easy. Oh, no, no. Uh, dance is, is pretty complex. You know, we need a floor that is specific and built up, and uh, we have children in Nutcracker, of course. Mm -hmm. We have an orchestra. Uh, all their instruments are very hard to transport, our sets, our costumes. Um, the size of the stage is different in every venue. So really what this is about is uh, going to each of these places and making the ballet unique for that place. So the, the Smart Center version of Nutcracker will be one version of Nutcracker and then the Hobby Center will be another version of Nutcracker. And then when we return to the Wortham, <laughs> it, it'll go back, yeah. And I mean, we only premiered it last year, so it's still all new. But it's better, I think, to harness each theater and, and show its strengths and make it special than, than try to just take the same show. So you should see Nutcracker twice this year, both out at Smart Center and at hobby because they will be different. It's also inspirational uh, once you got over the shock and of course the sadness of seeing theatre in such disrepair. Um, it how do we make this great? And, and that's what we are. We're, we're a creative company. We're a choreographer-based company. The dancers work like that. So we think, okay, let, let's make something really unique and special. And that is inspirational. That gets you to go home and feel, you know, we can do this, yeah. The Smart Center is a very uh, wide um, stage. And I think uh, it'll look very different. And I think we'll use the edges of the stage in a different way. They also have TV screens. And uh, so that it'll be a very different theater experience. And then the Hobby Center is actually smaller and more compact but deeper so again it will be different there'll be different amounts of dances in each uh, version and if you haven't seen the nutcracker which you should if you have not i love the costumes Great. beautiful breathtaking so can you talk to us about them sure well the costumes all survived harvey thank goodness um, we actually had them in the were them in the basement and on the thursday before the storm we moved them upstairs and we put them on a little platform on top of the stage and then that platform was an island during the storm. The water didn't get to the top of that. So there was the Sugar Plum Fairy was guarding those <laughs> costumes for us because we uh, they're beautiful and all those heads, all those animal creatures, I mean, they're one-offs. Uh, to rebuild that, I don't know if we could have done it in such a short time. So it's a very special production. Tim Goodchild did an extraordinary job and it's got something for everyone and uh, every animal you can imagine, which I love. You grew up 
dancing, right? Can you give us a little background? I mean, I think sure. you were born to do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, my parents were both dancers, so we were around ballet my whole life. But I actually didn't dance until I was 16. But I did do kids' roles in ballets, because you don't always have to be a dancer. You know, if you wanted to come and audition for Nutcracker, you certainly can, uh, because you just need to be theatrical and be able to act. So you're saying there's hope for me. Th there's hope for everybody. Come, <laughs> come on down. We can find you a part in Nutcracker, I'm sure. <laughs> So did you ever picture yourself doing this? <laughs> no, 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 no. I like, yeah. I like that. <laughs> I mean, of course, being in ballet um, or, or, or theatre, but not not being lucky enough to have this building and that and this wonderful theatre and the city that supports the arts so strongly. You know, we're very lucky. We're the great hidden secret of America that uh, Houston has one of the finest set of arts that uh, any city has. Uh, such a beautiful production. If you'd like to catch it, just visit the Smart Financial Center uh, from December 10th through December 23rd, and then at the Hobby Center starting December 30th through January 6th. Tickets start at just 35 bucks. All the info is online at HoustonBallet.org. So depressing seeing all those flood photos. I know. You know what? They're going to come back bigger and better, and Stanton Welch at the helm uh, for Houston Ballet is a wonderful thing for our community. Oh, yeah. And every little dancer, young and old, dreams.